Planning for how you will continue your business operation after a disaster is critical. Strategic partnerships can literally save the day and your business, whether it's a power outage or something more serious. Okay, and I will get that to your mom today. That's what Julie Whirling found out when a devastating fire decimated her florist shop the day before Mother's Day, the busiest time of the year for her. I was out doing deliveries, picking up the kids, and received a phone call from my sister saying that the shop was on fire. The whole block was on fire. An accidental fire from a lit cigarette started in the basement of a building where Julie has her florist shop in Friday Harbor. The massive fire quickly engulfed a whole block of the town. Within 10 minutes, the building was gone. Julie saw her life's dream and the store's income go up in smoke. We just kind of all stared at it and went, no way, you've got to be kidding. This is two days before Mother's Day and we had 120, I think, orders sitting on the table. Julie's plight became front page news as crews battled the blaze. The close-knit community came to her rescue. Ace Hardware immediately became the temporary flower shop. We went up there and they had cleaned out their Pepsi cooler, Coke cooler, and said, here's your flower cooler, and emptied off, you know, like the front half of their stores. They started taking flower orders for us, answering the phones. Ours was just a little part, and you know, we've already got the space and they needed a roof and a cooler. We happened to have it. A wholesale florist in Tacoma loaded up a whole truck's worth of flowers for Julie and made the long trek up to the island. When he got here, um, we met him at Ace Hardware, and when he opened up the truck, we just cried. I mean, we were pulling out boxes and buckets. More than 150 orders were assembled and delivered, all in time for Mother's Day. I, I felt very liked and loved on this island because everybody was helping. Although she had never considered or planned on it prior to the fire, what Julie experienced that day was strategic partnerships that helped save her business. Develop relationships with other companies who might be able to help you should disaster strike. Our partnerships with our computer suppliers are very important. We have very good working relationships with our suppliers. Dell, for example, they work 24 hours a day in the days following the Nesqually earthquake to rapidly replace our computing equipment that was damaged and not repairable. Working in partnership with other businesses is very, very important and something that businesses do not do too often. And it's too bad because if you're not working with your neighbors and your fellow businesses, you're going to find that you're going to be standing out there all by yourself and you're not going to survive a disaster. Keeping your business in operation requires strategic planning before disaster strikes. Walk through the potential hazards you face in your area and ask yourself how your business could be impacted. Some key questions to ask. How would your primary suppliers be affected? Are there alternative sources for what you will need to stay in operation? How will your customers be impacted? Do they still want or need your product or service? Can they afford it? Think about other external factors. What is your plan if roads to your company are closed? Other businesses next door have major damage, or news coverage of a disaster frightens potential customers away from your area. And there are ways of kind of walking through this rather simply uh, and identifying what the key components of operating our business are and things that we can do to improve um, their reliability in, in the event of a disaster. 